Let's talk about antacids. When we break apart the word antacid, ant means against, and acid means, well, acid. In this case, referring to hydrochloric acid found in the stomach. So antacids work by getting rid of the acid that has settled in the GI tract. You can remember this by the memory trick. Antacids think anti-acid. Let's look at the mechanism of action. When there is excess stomach acid, also called hydrochloric acid, this leads to stomach pain, heartburn, and indigestion. Antacids work as a base to neutralize the excess hydrochloric acid. When the acid is neutralized, the patient is relieved of symptoms. The patient is relieved of these symptoms quickly after taking the medication, but the effect doesn't last long. Let's look at the names of some of these antacids. We are saved by the suffix because many generic names have the suffix carbonate and hydroxide. Some of these names are sodium bicarbonate, brand name Alka-Seltzer, calcium carbonate, brand name Tums or Rolades, aluminum hydroxide, brand name Amphogel, and magnesium hydroxide, brand name Milk of Magnesia or Milk of Mag. Now for the uses of antacids. These can be used to relieve the symptoms in gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, and peptic ulcers. GERD is the accumulation of acid, which leads to irritation to the lining of the esophagus, where peptic ulcers are accumulation of acid, which leads to erosion of the mucosa or lining of the stomach causing ulcers. Now, both of these cause the stomach lining to be sensitive or irritating, leading to symptoms such as burning, pain, chest pain, and regurgitation. Okay, let's look at some of the must-know side effects. Depending on which antacid is used, several side effects can occur. Calcium and aluminum-containing antacids cause constipation. You can remember this because constipation has a C in it for calcium and an A for aluminum. And magnesium-containing antacids can cause GI upset such as diarrhea. You can remember this by the memory trick, magnesium moves the bowels. There are several things to consider when administering antacids. You want to be sure to take this medication one hour before or after other medications. You also want to take this medication at bedtime. These both improve the effects of the medication. Now, there are some things you don't want to do. You do not want to take antacids with meals. They should be administered on an empty stomach to be able to neutralize the acid. You also do not want to give antacids to children age 2 or younger or those who had a recent viral infection. Now, the reason we don't want to give it to these children is because many antacids contain aspirin or aspirin-like products. When you give aspirin to a child who had a recent or current viral illness, it can cause RISE syndrome, which is a serious metabolic disorder that can result in encephalitis. Now, let's look at some of the frequently tested information about antacids. Antacids work to neutralize the stomach acid, reducing GI discomfort. Antacids should be administered on an empty stomach, and one hour before or after other medications. Antacid should not be administered to children under two or those with a recent viral illness due to the increased risk for RISE syndrome. That's all for antacids. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Happy studying, future nurses.